Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we will learn how to solve the problem of R installing packages on OneDrive but failed. Uh, yeah, after we uh, installing R and try to uh, install packages, we meet this problem. Unable to translate C user, your username, OneDrive. Yeah, blah blah. Uh, this is because our account install uh, packages on OneDrive. Uh, of course, if you don't use uh, OneDrive, um, you think uh, it is unnecessary, or you you don't like it, you just uninstall it. Then install R. Then there's no problem. But here. We just try to change the installation um, path um, to other folders. Uh, here, we uh, we can just uh, open R and check uh, to see the problem. You can you can see the installation path uh, lib dot lib paths big uh, capitalized path you see the first one is C user OneDrive now we change it we change it to other place how to with that first we change the permission of editing uh, our profile uh, we navigate to C uh, program file R, then your version, uh, library base, and uh, this folder. We go to C, or oh, maybe you install in D. Then we go to R, open this, and then the library, then the base folder. You see the Here's the R. Yeah, contains the R profile. We are just change this uh, folder's permission. We right click it, choose property, then go to security, and navigate to users. This one, users desktop, uh, something. Just between the administrator and Trust editors, uh, Stellar or something. Uh, this one, just edit. You choose this one. Uh, one. Uh, we choose this. I already uh, choose. Is full control this one, and this one. Then we click OK. OK. Thing we can um, editing the R profile. First, I suggest you to just uh, copy and paste. Then we change the name is R profile backup. If there's some mistake, we can change it back. Backup. Okay. Then we double click our profile. We can use the uh, I use the text editor. Uh, you can use the one you like. Then we uh, looking for this code. Yeah, this snip snippet. If this one. Looking for it here. You see, it's here. This uh, snippet. We just move our user. Move it. Some suggest to change here to the uh, path, uh, the folder you like to uh, install. Package. It doesn't work. 
you just delete, just remove it, and then save it. Okay, that's it. Then we try to install package, for example, gg uh, plot2. We let's to install it. Then it asks you to uh, does it successfully receive it. Maybe we restart it. Restart R. Then we install ggplot2. Yeah, here it asks you would you like to use a personal library instead? We just press yes. Then it says, would you like to create a personal library, R, uh, Windows library, yeah, the version uh, 4.1. Yeah, this is uh, the suggested one. We just choose yes. Then we install and choose the mirror first, then click OK. Then let's see the result of the installation. Successfully, successfully. Then it says trying this. Yeah, the end. The download source package are in. Yeah, this folder, no error. Um, and the problem unable to translate. Um, disappeared. Then, you know, we have installed the uh, library uh, successfully. Yeah, this is a very practi practical and a simple method to solve the problem. Thank you for your watching.